Mic check one, two, one, two. This is Premier Gospel. I'm Aisha Kambi and I work as a fashion stylist. I would say um, that we have maybe lost a sense of, of pride in our heritage. And again, I think I would relate that back to the media. I think in the times of the 60s and 70s, you know, you had people like, you know, Nina Simone and you had um, who was sporting natural hair and, you know, on the male side, you'd have Jimi Hendrix. And so celebrity has a big part. Often a lot of people um, will look up to celebrities and they will use them as um, examples of how they should live their life, present themselves. And so when the biggest celebrities that we have are also contouring their faces and sporting blonde weaves and this sort of thing. I guess it's going to have a knock-on effect. But I do think that we also have really gained a sense of pride that I'm really quite proud of um, in the fact that, you know, we now have African music in, you know, in UK charts, which is something when I was growing up even, it was never there. I mean, we had reggae and, 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 and dancehall music from time to time, uh, which is great. But to have African music uh, in the charts um, definitely suggests that we've got some of our pride back. And I think African music being in the charts is also making people want to to claim their African identity, to say, yeah, I'm Nigerian, like, and, you know, or I'm from Ghana. And I don't know, that it just seems like a cool time to be African <laughs> at the moment. So, yeah, I think we, we've definitely gained some pride in that sense. This is Premier Gospel. This, this is, is Premier, Premier Gospel. Gospel. Add your voice. Add your voice. Add your voice to the conversation.